Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely, wonderful day so far. My name is Mandy, thank y'all so, so much for being here. Today's video is probably gonna be the most random ass favorites and fails, favorites and fails video. <laughs> Some of these things I've actually had for a year or more, but I wanted to throw them in here anyway because some of them are really good and some of them are really, really bad. So usually when I do favorite and fails videos, I talk about some taboo things. So if you find yourself to be sensitive or squeamish today, you might wanna like sit this one out. But if you are ready, if you are easygoing, if you feel like talking about things that might be a little bit of controversial, controverse, con controversial? things that are controversial, that's it, things that are controversial, <laughs> then buckle up, grab you a drink, fix you some wine, and let's have a good time. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna try my best to breeze through these pretty, pretty quickly because I don't wanna like linger on anything and then this video be like four hours long because I have a tendency to ramble. So the first item that I wanted to talk about is an absolute favorite and I am so, so grateful and blessed for the person who sent this to me. Emily Guidry, she is absolutely unbelievably talented and she made me this custom tumbler and she sent it to me and it is so good. It is so, so good. So she has a Facebook group. I will put a link to it down in the description box below and she will make you and hand draw you anything you want and her prices are so, so reasonable. So she made me this one and let me tell you, it is my official filming cup. I will never film without this cup ever. And she hand drew all of these things. So we have Ducky right here. We have Michael J. Fox. Let me just block out my face a little bit because it's going to try to focus on me. But as I turn this thing, it has some of the most amazing figures. So it has Doc from Back to the Future. It's got Chunk and Sloth here. It's got Molly Ringwald. It's got like Breakfast Club and Lost Boys and Jake Ryan and Ferris Bueller. It's it's got it all. It has it all. And it also keeps everything really, really nice and cold. So if you are working outside, you can go drink you a beverage and it's gonna just ice you down all the way to the tummy tum tum. I love it. So now let's talk about some clothes, shall we? I have a heaping pile right here in front of me, so I'm not gonna be going in any specific order. I'm just gonna be grabbing from here and talking about it briefly. And the first thing that is right on top that I wanna talk about is the Honey Love bra. Now, I did a review on this one, I wanna say like a year ago, and honestly, my opinion has not changed whatsoever. I have this bra in almost every single color, black, nude, uh, burgundy is the one that I'm wearing right now. Yep, burgundy. <laughs> and I just love this bra. I can't remember the exact name for it, but I'm gonna leave the link to it down in the description box below. I do have a coupon code for this bra as well. And it is just so comfortable. It's comforting. It feels really good. It's supportive, but it's not like, you know, high impact supportive. So you will have some natural movement if you're running or if you're doing some sort of aerobic activity but it is just the softest and squishiest bra there ever was. And I really enjoy it so, so much. So I got this one in a size one X. I do wear a size 38 triple D and it is just fantastic. After a long time of wearing the sucker, it has shown a little bit of wear and tear. So I have actually like split the side here, but I have other ones as backups and it just feels really, really nice. It does have removable pads on the inside. They are kind of like those disky pads, but you can remove them if you want to. And this is just a really good bra. I have never been let down by anything that I bought from Honey Love ever, ever, ever. They are a fantastic brand. I do highly recommend checking them out. They are a little bit on the pricier side. Some I've bought myself, some I've had sent to me. When I initially like initiated the first review that I did with this bra, I bought it all myself. So I had bought like one or two and I just love them. I still love them. I still wear them every day. They also convert to a crossbody or like a racer bag. If you do want to wear yours that way, it does have the option to do so. And it's just a fantastic bra. So the next clothing item that I wanted to talk about today has got to be included in the favorites video because it is just unbelievably good. It is so, so good. So I actually featured this brand here on my channel. I want to say like two months ago, and it is a viral swimwear brand called TA3 Swim. So they have taken Instagram and TikTok by storm. 
I got called into it too, and I am so, so glad that I did. But each one is very, very expensive. I consider it to be expensive, so each swimsuit is about $150 or so. But when I tell you that this swimsuit made me feel some kind of way when I put this sucker on, it gave me the confidence to step out, to wear it on the boat, to wear it to the beach, to wear it like on a dock or a boardwalk without any sort of self like confidence issues. I was feeling really, really good. So this is what it looks like. And this is like the black shapewear style swimsuit that has the built-in corset in the back. And when you cinch the sucker in, for one thing, it doesn't feel like a corset. It feels like, you know, some like firm shapewear, but it does magical things to the body. It cinches you in, in the most beautiful way. So if you want to lose some inches in your waist, if you want to lose some inches in your stomach, if you have a FUPA, this is going to be for you. I'm not even kidding. Really and truly, these are the best swimsuits that I've ever tried ever, ever, ever. They are firm, they are opaque, they feel really good on the body, and they make me feel some kind of way when I'm out strutting and swimming and doing my thing. I really do enjoy these. The next clothing piece that I wanted to talk about today is a dress that I featured on my channel. I wanna say like a year and a half ago, but I just recently re-fell back in love with this sucker. I actually wore it to my daughter's band banquet. She is graduating in a couple of days and I wore this dress to the band banquet and I got so many compliments. It felt really, really good and the quality is just superb. And I think if I'm not mistaken, it's still available on the Shein website, which is rare. <laughs> if you know Shein, if you've ever bought from the Shein website, then you're probably gonna know that some things that you buy from the website are not gonna be very good quality. And then other things that you don't really expect much from are just gonna blow your mind <laughs> with the quality that you get from them. And when I tell you that this dress actually blew my mind when I got out of the package, I was so, so excited to get this one. So this is what the dress looks like. And this is a mock neck black dress with this beautiful flower embroidery on here. And the quality and the like weight of this dress is superb i think i paid like 28 dollars for it it is very much well worth a whole lot more than that and it is just absolutely beautiful so i picked this one up in a size 3x and i do think if i haven't mentioned that already that i checked the website and they did have these available so i'm gonna leave the link down in the description box below i'm not affiliated with shein they kicked me out a long time ago <laughs> i don't know why probably because i talk shit about their stuff but nonetheless this is what the dress looks like so it has these really cute puff sleeves and then the bottom of the skirt has this really nice pleating that has layers upon layers of like beautiful fabric you know i have a tendency to like purge my closet a lot and this one has made the cut time and time and time again and I'm keeping it forever. If I have to, I'm definitely gonna keep it forever. <laughs> All right, y'all, so now we're on to the final clothing piece of the entire day, and this one has definitely exceeded my expectations over and over and over again. I actually featured this in a Walmart haul, I wanna say like two months ago or something like that. I don't even know what time is anymore. <laughs> it's just going by so incredibly fast. So this is from the brand Terra and & Sky, and these are some floral palazzo pants that I picked up. And I absolutely love these pants. They are so incredibly comfortable. They look like you put in a lot of effort, but you don't even have to. It has a really nice paneling on the front that doesn't look like their elastic waist, but in the back they do have the elastic waist and it is just like super easy. So it's not gonna squeeze, it's not gonna like make those lumps and bumps on your skin. And they also have pockets, but when you go down to the bottom of these, they are like super, flowy and wide leg and they just catch the breeze so nicely so you can wear these with flip-flops you can wear these with heels you can wear these with tennis shoes you can just wear them pretty much however you want to with a t-shirt with a crop top and i mean the color story is just so pretty it's vibrant it's cheerful and it just makes you feel really good they're probably on sale on the walmart website i'm going to leave a link to them down in the description box below but i picked these up in a size 1x which is a 16 to an 18. Normally, when I first purchased these, I was probably a 2X, but they fit amazing. So Terra and Sky has always been generously sized and these are gonna be no exception. And the material is super, super soft. So it's made of 100% viscose, which you know is a semi-synthetic. It's very similar to like silk. It feels really good. It's also like a cousin to rayon. So if you like rayon, if you want something that's easy to keep clean, if you want it easy to take care of, get you a pair of these, 
wear them, love them, enjoy your summer in the nice cool breeze <laughs> because you're gonna feel really good in these. Mm, mm, mm. That is some good water, y'all. <laughs> All right, so now we are on to the shoe favorites. And a couple of days ago, I actually did a Venus plus size Tron haul lookbook video. And in that video, I actually talked about these shoes pretty much the whole entire video. And I have to say, I am really, really impressed with these shoes. These are probably like my favorite Venus shoes that I've ever gotten from them. And these are like faux brown leather cork wedges, and they are some of the most comfortable shoes that you're ever gonna walk in that have this high of a heel. Y'all, I am not even kidding. These are so, so comfortable. And I really like the way these look on my foot. They look really sexy, but they're also like practical at the same time and they look good pretty much with everything. So they have these little cross things here. <laughs> so descriptive. And then they have the little loop-de-loop -loop that goes up to the front of the arch of the foot. And then it also has kind of the sling back design with a really cute gold buckle. And then it has this really nice, I don't know if it's a real cork, but it could be a faux cork wedge and a little bit of a platform. And they just feel really, really good on the feet. I love wearing these. I have a tendency to have sweaty feet. So I do find that when I get nervous, which is a lot lately because I'm having some anxiety issues, I do kind of slip and slide every once in a while, like in the shoe. I do have to admit though that I do put lotion on the bottom of my feet. So that does attribute to the like slipping and sliding situation. So I can't say that it's just me or it's just the shoe. It is what it is. But once it kind of settles down and I'm good to go, I can walk a mile in these without a problem and they don't give me blisters and they don't feel bad. So the next pair of shoes that I want to share with y'all are from the SJP line, Sarah Jessica Parker chef's kiss she is an absolute amazing shoe designer i love all of her shoes i want all of her shoes but i have to settle with a few every now and then and the next favorite that i want to share with you are these so these are some really cute heeled mules with this absolutely gorgeous iridescent like Swartsky crystal Schwartzky, what, what however you say it <laughs> and i mean can we talk about how good these smell. I just love the way these smell. Does that make me weird? Am I weird for like the smell of shoes? These smell so good, y'all. I just love the way these smell. And when I tell you, if you have a problem walking in heels, if you have a problem with walking in stilettos, definitely give these a try because they are some of the best, most beautifully balanced shoes. I don't have a problem walking in these shoes. I mean, it's just the stride is perfect and they use some of the best, most high quality materials that I've ever seen in a shoe. I've never been able to afford like this high quality of a shoe and they have sales. So if you're interested, definitely check out eBay, definitely check out Amazon because every once in a while you can kind of sneak one for about $95. If you can get a hand on one, do it definitely do it because they are 100% worth it. And the quality, the suede, they're beautiful and they're sexy as hell. <laughs> so now let's talk about the most important part of today's video and that is the food favorites. <laughs> I actually went to Walmart yesterday to do my grocery shopping because last night I made chicken fried steak and white gravy and I saw these on the aisle and I decided to give them a try. I had actually never tried these before. And when I tell you they are so incredibly good, they're like a drug, seriously. So these are the Flips White Fudge Covered Pretzels. If you like pretzels, if you like white chocolate, these marry so unbelievably well. Sometimes like for Christmas and holidays, we'll make these on our own with the little like micro pretzels. Is that what they're called? The little small pretzels. And we'll make them with like Ghirardelli white chocolate, but buying them and it just being so easy to get these, they're so good. They're so good and they're convenient. They aren't very low calorie, so they're about 140 calories for seven pieces, which is a little bit on the higher side, but I had some this morning with a fruit cup, so I had some strawberries and some cherries and a banana with these, and it just, it tasted so good. So if you're not familiar with what white chocolate pretzels look like, they're like <laughs> impossible to open. If you're not familiar with what they look like, they just look like this. So it's this really cute white chocolate pretzel. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. So good, just so good. 
All right, y'all, so now is the time that I wanted to talk to y'all about the thing that I find to be a little bit more on the controversial side or a little bit more on the taboo side. So if you find yourself being a little bit more sensitive today or you're feeling a bit squeamish, now is the time to go ahead and click off of this video. Also, if you are a man, you might wanna just fast forward a little bit because this is going to pertain to women's issues down there okay so we all have them we all have issues and this is going to have to do with women who have had babies or you find yourself a little bit older and you sneeze and you pee okay so it is a problem we all deal with it we all have you know some issues with our pelvic muscles down there and i found a device that has legitimately changed my life and i wanted to talk about it with y'all because i bought this with my own money i found it on my own it was an issue and i wanted to solve the issue and it has helped quite a bit so the brand is called iStem and this is what the packaging looks like the procedure at which you use this lovely device is very very easy you put it in and you pretty much forget about it so you put water soluble lubricant on there i've been trying to say that literally for 30 minutes now i like to use like ultrasound jelly i find it very inexpensively on amazon or walmart i will also leave a link to it down below you insert it it doesn't have to be in there any sort of way and then you connect it to your tens therapy machine and what it does is it very gently contracts the muscles you put it in there for 20 minutes on one of the lowest settings just so you can barely barely feel it it's not pleasurable it's not painful you just barely feel it and you can read a book you can put on your makeup you can cook you do whatever you want to do bring your kids to the soccer game if you want to nobody has to know that you're using this device and over the course of 20 minutes using it for about three times a week eventually it will cause your muscles in there to contract and become very nice and strong they're going to be strong again like you were prepubescent and you will no longer sneeze and pee no more mini pads no more maxi pads no more sneezing and peeing and you use it just a couple of times a week and within about a week or so you're really going to notice a difference it is amazing it's like magic and it's like a workout for your badge <laughs> so just to put it lightly it really does work give it a try and i couldn't recommend it enough for my older ladies who have issues like i did all right y'all so now we're on to the final favorite of the entire day and this one is also going to be a little bit more on the controversial side you're going to have people who absolutely swear by it on one side and use it all the time and then you're going to have those on the opposite end of the spectrum who say that it will ruin your face and never to use it I'm one who kind of likes to try things out on her own and form my own opinions, so I did. And this is probably like my fifth purchase of this product and I absolutely love it and swear by it. So this is the Vertex Women's Dermaplaning Facial and Eyebrow Razors. These are the sharpest and most long lasting blades that I've ever found, but you gotta be careful with these, okay? They are so incredibly sharp, you can really hurt yourself and they're made in Japan, the blade is made in Japan, and they are just phenomenal. So this comes in a pack of five. I wanna say it's like eight or nine dollars from Amazon. Works fantastic. I haven't had an issue with them, but what I use them for is to shave my face and also exfoliate. So it kind of takes that first layer of skin right off your face and you just feel very, very exfoliated. So you don't have any hair on there. So I use it on my forehead, I use it on my cheeks, chin, mustache, nose, the whole thing, even my neck. And when I want to look my absolute best with makeup, that is when I use these. And I have never had an issue with them. I've never had my hair grow back any thicker or more coarse or more disgruntled. So I just consider these to be an absolute must have in my everyday makeup routine. Not every day, I don't use them every day. I probably use them maybe once a week, but I swear by these, they are fantastic very sharp very dangerous used with caution and they have excellent reviews on amazon and i just i love them to death so now we're on to my fails of the day and the first fail that i wanted to talk about is from the brand wet and wild so this is the wet and wild glass correct prime base so this is supposed to be like uh color correcting and also be a primer you know if you've been watching my channel i'm not really a big primer person however 
I watched a video from somebody on YouTube and I just kind of fell into this whole rabbit hole and I purchased these, I actually purchased three <laughs> without even trying them. And it doesn't have any sort of color correcting whatsoever. It comes out green, but once you rub it on your face, it doesn't have any green cast whatsoever. Now, it does have a slight scent. It does have a nice medicinal scent. Um, and it also makes your face very, very shiny. So if you like that, then you really might like this, but I found that it sort of makes my face have a rash. It's quite irritative. So if you wash your face with hot water and then you put this on, or God forbid, if you use a dermaplane before you put this on, you're going to have a problem. <laughs> There's an ingredient in here that is just really inflammatory and it just doesn't want to act right. It doesn't want to act right. The second thing is also another kind of a skincare item and it's from the brand Good Molecules. So this is the Caffeine Energized Hydro Gel Eye Patches. I found these from another YouTuber and at first I really liked these. However, I noticed that over time it kind of made my face really shiny just in this area and it's not like a good shiny. It's not like that glass skin. It's not, you know, that supreme beautiful glow it just looked a little odd and it also kind of upset my skin a little bit so if you have sensitive skin or if you dermaplane or if you exfoliate with chemical exfoliators i would kind of steer clear from this one because it just is a little more on the inflammatory side and it says that it's best to use on cleansed but dry skin so I guess you cleanse it and then you pat it dry and then you put it on and you leave it on. It just didn't really work for me. Good Molecules is kind of like one of those brands, uh, very simple ingredients, very kind of like one sided ingredients, kind of like what's that Desian brand? I can't think of it right off the top of my head, but it's a good skincare brand. It's just a brand that you kind of have to build up with. So you have to layer multiple things over the top of it and then it works well, but this just doesn't, didn't do a whole lot for me. And then the final fail <laughs> of the entire day, I'm going to have to reach for it with my feet. And if you watched my vlog from a couple of weeks ago, the one that I talked about my health issues and I ended up being a blubbering mess, this will probably come as no surprise to you, but this is the five in one air styler. This is supposed to be like a dupe for the Dyson air wrap. And it is not, <laughs> it's anything, but not that I've used the Dyson air wrap. So I don't technically know if it works any better, better or worse than this, but this has five different attachments. So it's got this little hair dryer attachment. Then it's got the like two barrels, the one that you put on this way and the one that you put on this way. And also has the little, the dryer brush and then the little spinny brush It's the one that would probably get wrapped up in your hair and you would never be able, be able to get it out because it's stuck in there for life that one. <laughs> and I just found that for the amount that I paid for this, which was like $45 plus tax and shipping, it didn't work very well. It blew dry my hair just fine, but it's something that you could really easily find on Amazon for a whole lot cheaper as far as a hair dryer goes. And the attachments just didn't work really well. So it's crap. <laughs> so yeah, that is everything for my favorites and fails video. I hope y'all found this video helpful, enjoyable, and somewhat entertaining. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. You know your girl would appreciate it. As always, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I always appreciate each and every one of you. Please stay safe and stay healthy. I'm gonna be seeing y'all very, very soon. <laughs> also, check out my friend's stuff. Facebook group, definitely check her out. She is amazing. Mm.